Hello everyone, in this guide video I'm going to overclock my ASRock Phantom 69 XT from AMD So stick with me and we are going to see some benchmarks and difference between the scores etc So here I am in the Radeon software updated to the latest version, the 21.9.1 that was released few days ago So please make sure your driver is updated to ensure high optimization and then we go from home to performance and then to the tuning tab and from there we can access the overclocking section please note that the first time you go to this tuning tab you would have to agree that overclocking is at your own risk so just accept that and you will be in now in case you have an AMD CPU you have the opportunity to enable the smart access memory feature which boosts your performance overall so here I have it enabled alright then with that being said we can click on the custom button on the manual tuning and start our overclocking adventure I have already made my custom profile and uploaded it so you can find the link in the description below but I will also show step by step how it was done so you can also manual overclock ok so let's get started First, go to the GPU tuning and enable that option. Then, we can see below the current clock speed and the voltage. And now, let's enable the advanced control and set the maximum frequency as 2715. I found this value to not cause any stability issues running it on demanding games like Red Dead Redemption 2, as well as 3D Mark, Benchmark, and Uni Engine Superposition. Alright, then go to the minimum frequency and set it as 2550. That option would help to lessen the gap between the minimum and the maximum frequency and the GPU load, like games and benchmark. However, in normal Windows usage, the frequency would still be low, so you don't have to worry having your GPU overload when it's not needed. It's just to help in situation when it's underloaded. Then. We head to the voltage section and set the value as 1080 megavolt. This would reduce the GPU temperature overall while not compromising the stability. I tried many increments and it stays good on this one. Alright then, once we are done with the GPU clock speed, we can now proceed to the VRAM settings by enabling the VRAM tuning and then again down below we can see the current VRAM clock speed. Go down to memory timing and select the fast timing option. Then enable the advanced control and move the VRAM clock slider to 2040. The maximum is 2150 but for my GB unit it would crash if I go beyond 2080. And even with that I get some drawback effect so I chose to stay in the safest possible overclocking area which is 2040 and I think it doesn't really matter that much as long as the GPU clock speed is good enough ok with that being done let's enable the power tuning option and down we can see the current power consumption in watts let's make sure that the power limit is set to the highest point which is plus 15% that allows the GPU to reach higher watt limit in situation when power is needed to maintain the set clock speed but of course at the cost of higher temperature which is why we have reduced the volt earlier in order to balance between thermal and performance but in many occasions the GPU wouldn't use that extra power just because it doesn't need it I have monitored mine while playing the Red Dead Redemption 2 and most of the time it would be ok with even 290 watt or even lower while keeping the same clock speed so at the end we are just allowing the GPU to have that extra power when it's highly needed it already have algorithm to tell whether it needs it or not so we don't have to worry about that at all finally we can now go up to the fan tuning and enable that option where we can monitor the current fan speed in RPM the GPU temperature and the GPU junction temperature which is the hottest centered point of the chip 
this part is pretty much a personal one so if you mind the high fan speed you can just set it as you prefer and monitor the temperature making sure they don't reach a temperature of higher than 85 celsius degree but i personally will disable the zero rpm option and enable the advanced control and then fine tune it to get the maximum fan speed which is 3000 rpm when the gpu temperature hits the 75 degree and the rest doesn't really matter much i set them as the following and you can set as well now it's testing time let's go up and press on the apply changes button and go to the stress test to try our overclocking profile then a window will appear with the desired duration test in second by default it's 60 seconds which is good enough for a start also there's a warning message that say this test may cause your system to crash or reboot and your display to flicker these are just indications that your overclocking was not a successful one so press on the start testing and wait until the test complete Something different from your eyes See you For a moment even I I can feel you Alright, perfect The stress test has been completed without any problems So we can press the finish button and export our profile for future uses or refurnals In addition to that, in order to load a profile, you can go to the load profile button and navigate to where you saved it and click on the open button. At the end, I would like to note that my settings may not work 100% for every 69XT GPU model. Each unit has its own tolerance point, but you can incrementally do the changes and with some trials and errors, you will get similar or even better results. Okay, and now I have prepared some before and after scores. Please enjoy it. We got a good thing going Why we gotta feel simplified Sing to the morning Count as I was spending by your side You look at me, I'm soaring Seeing all the truth behind your eyes See you For a moment even hope that I could feel Finally, I hope you found this video guide to be useful in any way and if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel as I am preparing more videos for the future. And if you have a Ryzen CPU and looking to overclock it, please check my other video. Thank you. See you all.